Hey Stampers, welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stampin' Jill creative team, and today I'm excited to share with you a project from the annual catalog. The stamp set that I'm going to be focusing on is this Blossoms in Bloom set and the coordinating die, which is the Many Layered Blooms. In this die, there are these two large flower dies that layer on top of each other and it is beautiful, the outcome. And they also coordinate with the stamp and layer on top of the stamp too. So it's really fun. I was really excited to play with this one um, and I've come up with a few samples. I'll bring in a few here real quick. Here's one with just the stamping and not the die. And here's one with the die that I watercolored and then layered on top of it. I have another project that I wanna show you, but I want to kinda of do it with you. So we have our new water painters. These have replaced our old aqua painters that we used to carry, um, and they're really fun. It comes three in the package. So there's a large one with the very um, wide brush here, and then there's a medium or like a regular size and an itty bitty one for those very small pieces that you have to get into for watercoloring. So it's really fun. I've had fun playing with these so far, but I'm for this project, I'm just going to use my wide one because I'm gonna kind of do a brush stroke type look. So I have already colored one of my sheets and I used cool colors on this sheet. I used uh, Granny Apple Green, Coastal Cabana, and Bermuda Bay, and Rich Razzleberry on this sheet. So lots of different colors. On this sheet, I'm gonna do kind of the same thing, a washed look, but I'm going to use warmer colors. So I'm gonna use Daffodil Delight, Mango Melody, Melon Mambo, and Rich Razzleberry again. So I'll have two um, Rich Razzleberry in each of the brushed paper. So I just want to kind of show you how to use this. I'm going to start with my Daffodil Delight and when I watercolor I like to squeeze my my stamp pad just like this and then I'm actually squeezing the ink onto the top of my stamp pad so that I can just grab the ink with my water painter and just like this and then put it onto my paper. So I'm just going to do some daffodil in each corner. These water painters have been really fun to work with and this wide one is really nice to get to cover a lot of area. So when you're painting like an entire page it's really nice for that. Okay next I'm going to grab my Mango Melody and again I'm going to just squeeze the stamp pad and get the ink onto the top of my lid here and then just grab it. And when you um, are water painting or water coloring, you push right here and it just drips some of the water down into the point of the pen and that's where your water comes from. It makes it really simple to use. So I'm just gonna kinda come in and add a layer there with the Mango Melody. And those two colors, they actually are pretty close together but it makes the blending of them pretty seamless. Next I'm going to come in with my Melon Mambo and again the same thing, squeeze my ink onto the top of the pad and I can get some of that yellow color off. The cool thing about starting light and going dark is that if you still have a little bit of the ink in your brush, it's not going to ruin the pad, um, the lighter pad, if you went dark to light. So I usually start light and go darker. So then I'm just gonna come in, and I love the way that these two colors mix, this Melon Mambo and the Mango. It gives just a really pretty, almost like a corally orange color. Oh, it's so pretty. Now this card that I'm doing you're never gonna get two that are the exact same. And that's one of the cool things about watercoloring is that you're never, it's never gonna be the exact same. It's all unique and it's 
all beautiful. So next I'm going to use Rich Razzleberry. Whoop. And this is the color that kind of brings all of those colors back together. That's why I chose to use it on both of the sheets. And I'll show you how I did that. So I'm just going to bring that Rich Razzleberry here and a little on this end over here. Now, I don't really want my Rich Razzleberry and my yellow to touch because if they do, then you're going to get pretty brown color. <laughs> so we'll keep it away from the yellow. Okay, so now what I want to do, I'm going to cut them out using the Many Layered Blossoms dies. I'll let them completely dry and then I'll cut the the cool colored one with the blue and green I'll cut out with the larger die so that one will go behind and then the warm colored one I will cut out with the um, more intricate one so that will be on top so through the magic of television I've already done that <laughs> so let me bring that in and you can see here how it just layers on top of each other and is so beautiful let me just pull in the full card and you can see what I did to finish that off. This is shimmer white paper on the back here and I just washed that with Daffodil Delight to brighten up the card a lot more. And isn't that so beautiful with all the different colors on there of the flowers? Um, just by simply washing the back of that watercolor paper and then cutting it out, you get all those different colors and it looks a lot more difficult than it actually was to make the card. So after I had made this card, I have to tell you, I had all these pieces and I'm not usually a keeper of little pieces because I, I like to just throw things away. I don't keep a lot of scraps that are teeny tiny. I just like to start new, but I thought these are so pretty and I don't want to just throw away all that work. Like, I mean, I have one beautiful card from it, but I have all these little pieces and I have to do something with them. So, so the first thought that came to mind was I need to put them into a shaker card. So let me bring in this card that I made using the little pieces of those pretty flower dice. So I just used basic black here and I cut out the, that more intricate die so you could see a lot of the color through and then I just put a window sheet behind it and popped it up and then put those pretty shakers in there and I thought it turned out so pretty with all those colors behind. Um, I'm not going to show you how to do this card on this on this video but if you visit stampinjill.com um, we'll have a blog post that will describe how to do that so if you want to go check that out. There are so many possibilities with this die and stamp set and I have had so much fun just playing just a little bit with it. I can't wait to do a little more. So if you're interested in making any purchases, make sure to visit us at stampinjill.com or email us at sudemonstrator at gmail.com. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday. Bye.